I, I reflect upon myself and I know that all my states are not necessarily always united. You know, I have uh, some states that are sometimes uh, freaking out. Sometimes they're on the front row wanting to get off. And then I've got some that are back in a corner, kind of like hurtling and wanting attention. And I wanna bring all these together. I, I wanna unite all of my states so that I can be balanced, so that I can live at that epicenter in balance. And I also have to recognize that I'm not. I'm not, I, I, I have my own apocalypse going on. I don't know about anybody else, but I got things coming up in my face of ways that I've been holding distortions, ways I've been avoiding doing my own great inner work, ways I've been bypassing, ways I've been ignoring, and things that just aren't working. And they're coming up for me in my life and I can't avoid them, I can't look away. You know, this, this cross is a balanced, universal cross. It's completely balanced. And when I was a kid, way before I came in the emissaries, I used to, I never went to church growing up, didn't have any religious interactions. I used to look at the cross that was in Christian religion, and it's not balanced. It's, it's, it's a little bit higher up past the balance point. And I wonder why. And I knew about the chakras and the seven of those. And I used to think that's because Jesus was more ascended, more elevated, more evolved. He lived in the higher centers more often. And so that's what that represents. To be honest, I don't know what it represents. Maybe it's just crucifixion and that's how they built crosses back then. So that's how they, you know, termed it. Sometimes I felt like my cross is more like an upside down T with my consciousness and, I, and all the way at the bottom, just hanging out in the physical, disconnected with the spirituality. Maybe I'm the only one that has that feeling when I wake up and recognize, wow, I'm not really where I wanna be. And I've had to look at myself and really it's an imbalance between the mind and the heart and the physical and the spiritual where my mind is dominant. And I've shut out parts of my heart because they hurt. And I stay so busy acting in the physical, just taking action, staying busy, that I'm not always connected to the higher ranges. I, I think and do, but I gotta make more time to be and feel because that's where attunement lives. That's how I get into that stream to find that precious epicenter point. I can't, I can't, think my way there. I can't speak my way there. I can't do anything to bring me a greater attunement. I, I got to settle down. And this is for me, my message, my declaration that I want a greater knowing of myself in that space, in that space of connection and knowing. 